Hi there, welcome to the practice questions on being able to reflect shapes in a stated line of symmetry. I've got two questions here that I'd like you to have a go at. Um, so if you could pause the video and have a go at question A and question B, and then when you're happy with your final results, then restart the video and I'll go through the model answers. So pause the video now, have a go at question A and question B. Hi, welcome back. Um, let's now go through these two together. So question one, we've got two grids here. Question A, I want you to reflect the line, uh, the shape, sorry, in the line Y equals two. So we've got to identify what this line is. So if I draw that on to the grid, the line Y equals two is this line across here. Okay. Now the reason it's y equals 2 is because if we go back to our basic coordinates, when along the corridor up the stairs, when x is 1, y is 2. What about when x is 2? If we go 2 along on the x-axis, when x is 2, y is also 2. What about when x is 4? Well, when x is 4, y is always also 2. So it doesn't matter what x is, y is always going to equal 2. That's why we have get this, this line here, y equals 2, as this horizontal line going across here. So now all we've got to do is reflect this triangle in this line. Now the best way of doing that is just to count the uh, on the grid how many gaps there are between one of the coordinates of the shape and the line that you're reflecting it in. So if we take this point here, count up, one, two, going vertically up the page, we've got a gap of two. That means we need a gap of two on the other side as well. So if we put a, a point here, two across, just there, that's our first point on our reflected triangle. Take the next point here, let's do this one. That's only one to the line. So if we move out one to the line and put our point there, as our second coordinate. And this point here, bottom one, the bottom right, is one, two to get to the line. So we go one, two, up. And there's our third point there. Then it's simply just a case of joining up the points that you've plotted here. And there's our reflected shape. Okay. Question B then. Slightly more complicated this one. We've got to reflect this shape in the line y equals x. Let me put that one in for you. So the line y equals x is actually a diagonal line at 45 degrees going through the centre zero. The reason for this, well, if we have a look at our coordinates, when x is 1, y is 1, they're the same. When x is 2, y is 2, they're the same. When x is 3, y is also 3. So whatever x equals, y also equals. Now, when we're reflecting the shape in a diagonal line like this, we can't just go straight up vertically or straight across horizontally. We have to turn a right angle at the point that we get to the line. But the counting situation is the same. So here, if we take this point here, bottom left, we have to move two spaces to get to touch the line. We then turn an angle of 90 degrees and move two spaces out. Obviously, make sure you're turning the right way. It's got to be on the other side of the line. If you turn 90 that way, you're still on the same side, so it can't be correct. So two up, two across, there's our first point. Second point here, this top one, one, two, three up. So we're going one, two, three across. There's our second point. And this bottom right, well, that's one, two, three, four up. So we're going to go four across. Now, it doesn't matter what way you start off. I went up and then turned the right angle. I could have gone across and turned the right angle. I still get to the same point. Do it on this one. If I go across and up, I still get to the same point. So then all I need to do is join my shape 
join these points up and we get our completed reflected triangle.